Hey what's up guys, Stefan here. So recently I was in the market for a new keyboard stand and after a good long search I came across the Omega table style stand from KNDM. Instantly when I saw this stand I thought man this would be the perfect stand for my home studio. Better yet the perfect stand for your home studio. So I got in contact with the kind folks over at KNDM and they agreed to send one over super cool so i won't waste any of your time let's jump straight into this video so if you were to buy the omega table style stand on its own without any of the additional accessories which we'll talk about later this is what you'd get an incredibly sturdy steel stand that can go as high as 1020 millimeters and as low as 600. The table style allows you to have the stand at any height and still support any size keyboard. With X keyboard stands, the height is often dictated by the size of the keyboard. Too low and it will fall through. Too high and, well, do so at your own risk. This is the convenience of table style stands. The Omega table style stand has the support width of 180mm to 790mm. A huge range that will support an 88 key keyboard or a 25 key one, although that's a bit overkill. It also comes with these bump ons to help secure your keyboard in place, and they're actually extremely effective. And some cable ties, safety first, and of course, it keeps things nice and neat. But if that's not enough for you, there's a whole bunch of accessories available for this stand to help meet your studio needs. Now, I didn't get them all because I just don't have that kind of space, but I did get what I thought would be best for my studio. The first accessory is the 18811 stacker. This goes on top of the stand and provides support for two keyboards and it can be adjusted to your preferred tilt, making it easier to play the second keyboard. But I rarely use that synth anymore, so I also got the 18819 controller keyboard tray, which is great for smaller synths, controllers, drum machines and laptops. It slides right onto the stacker and is extremely secure, it's not going anywhere. It also comes with an integrated handle which wires can also conveniently go through and keep everything nice and neat once again. In all honesty, if I didn't have an iMac, this would be my setup keyboard, controller, laptop and a speaker on either side. There's no need for a table with a setup like this. So if space is at a premium, this could be the setup for you. Nothing makes that statement truer than the fact that you can even add a mic stand. Obviously, this is great for live performance, but it also has its place in the studio if you do tutorials like me or you like to record whilst you play. But it doesn't stop there. There's a whole bunch of other accessories that you can add to this stand. A third tier to add even more controllers or keyboards, a sheet music holder, a laptop holder and a tablet holder. So as you can imagine, the configurations are plentiful. The Omega stand also comes in three colors, black, pure white and ruby red. And obviously you can get the accessories in these colors to match. All in all, I feel like the Omega stand would be a great addition to any home studio. One that can grow with you as you grow your studio. As you add a new keyboard, you can add another tier. As you add a drum machine, you can add a tray. It's fully adaptable and customizable to fit your studio needs. Obviously it has many other applications too, but I'm just talking in the perspective of the home studio as that's what we do here over on this channel. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about the stand, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. The links to all of the gear mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. And if you want a breakdown of my actual setup here, then check out the link to the blog post or my website. For more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe. I post every Sunday. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.